but I'll, so I'll do one do correct last time. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, everybody. Uh, now, just a big warning uh, as we start, owing to technical issues, um, I might sort of appear a bit funny um, because I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I, my, my face and my lips don't always sync, and sometimes you can hear the sound of my face is frozen or something. So, um, you know, if that happens, well, you'll just have to shut your eyes, I suppose, and uh, you'll still be able to hear us just as well. Good evening, Elaine. Good evening, Richard. How are you today? Well, yes, it's 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 lovely to be here, and uh, we are. Uh, sun's got in now, so I, I don't know what you've done with it. <laughs> Not my fault, honest. No, I, I'm. It, it's uh, as I was saying to Elaine, I've just got this sort of business about getting ready because I'm I, I'm going to be on leave um, for after Sunday morning services. So uh, getting that far is a big challenge. So are we ready to go? We are, yes. We are, well, me having frozen up again. Mm -hmm. uh, God makes speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. We've got two Psalms this evening, Psalms 60 and 67. So, so we begin with Psalm 60. O oh God, you have cast us off and broken us. You have been angry. Restore us to yourself again. You have shaken the earth and torn it apart. Heal its wounds, for it trembles. You have made your people drink bitter things. We reel from the deadly wine you have given us. You have made those who fear you to flee, to escape from the range of the bow that your beloved may be delivered. Save us by your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness. I will triumph and divide she Sechem and share out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my scepter. Moab shall be my washpot. Over Edom will I cast my sandal. Across Philistria will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the strong city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? Will you no longer go forth with our troops? Grant us your help against the enemy, for earthly help is in vain. Through God we will do great acts, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 67, God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us. That your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Come to our reading, which is from uh, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. When the day of Pentecost had come, 
they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were de devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cap Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya be belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea, and all who live in Jerusalem. Let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams, dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. And afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. So this evening, uh, we give grateful thanks to the Lord for the days that we've had and the days that are still going on, if we are listening at five o'clock. We pray that the Lord 
will grant us grace to draw the right conclusions from our days as we reflect upon them. And we pray that the Lord will help us to give thanks. We confess that it's always more tired, more it's harder work to give thanks when we're tired. But of course, at the end of the day, we always are. The Lord grant us grace to end the day well, to be able to let go of all that has been, to embrace rest and to reflect positively. Lord, grant us grace to think about good things, not to find ourselves dragged about by unfortunate memories. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives. Make known your heavenly glory. Help us, your people, in these times of change to seek what you would have us do and guide us to become ever closer to you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And as we hear of warnings of flooding, possibly coming to Scotland over the next couple of days, Lord, we pray for those whose lives may be affected by the storms and flooding, and for the members of the emergency services who will be risking their lives to help others. Strengthen all of them in their hour of need. Help them to know how to protect their family and friends and those they serve. Grant them perseverance and courage to face the future and be to them a firm foundation upon which to rebuild their lives. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, thank you for walking with us through this day, celebrating the ups and supporting us through the downs. Thank you for family and friends. May our relationships bring your glory as we strengthen each other for the kingdom work to which you've called each of us. And may those relationships continue to grow and flourish in the same way that our relationship with you grows and flourishes. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. The Lord Jesus Christ, as we look to you, to deepen our relationship, grant us grace to trust you when you lead us into the cloud. We know that when Moses went up and onto Sinai, the great cloud covered the mountain. It, he would not have been able to see. Landmarks disappeared. But all the time, he was getting closer to God. Grant us grace to trust in more than we can see, looking only to Jesus for guidance. And Lord Jesus Christ, when we feel alone and isolated and we look around and find little encouragement to take steps up that mountain towards God, grant us grace not to falter, but to hold your hand more tightly. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wonderful. Thank you very, very much, Blake. and we trust that everybody will um, know a greater blessing from drawing near to God, knowing that, uh, as the scripture says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Absolutely. And we'll have morning and evening prayer again tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.